Welcome back everyone to the third weekly stream summary. Um, I believe it's the third one. <laughs> um, but yeah, look at this. We have completed the uh, building at spawn. It is called Papa Toti's restaurant. Um, and I did have help from a, a friend. His name is Toti. He is the one that, that came up with this restaurant. We actually had this in a previous uh, series. See, actually, I'm not sure if it was recorded at all. I think it was like before I was doing recordings and stuff. Um, but he wanted to help with the building. And uh, yeah, I think it turned out pretty cool. We have a few chairs here and there for dining. Um, this is going to be a self-serve restaurant for now. Uh, just because I don't know if it's worth like charging people anything. Um, and they can just come in and grab what they need see if there's anything that they haven't ate before uh they can also check it out over, over here and create the recipes for example right now i i need some food so i can go ahead and make some baked potato you click it again it'll start baking it over here um i'm gonna make a couple of them just because why not i got some banana bread and i can eat it cool um so yeah, we have a decent amount of recipes right here. Uh, there's still a few things that we're missing. Um, I think like just different type of animals and stuff like that. Oh, there you go. I got it over here. So let's grab one of these and eat that. There you go. Yeah, so we're missing a few different animals. And then from what I saw, one of the main things that we're missing is um, bees. <laughs> uh, so if you look at the i think it's was it cooking here you go the cooking for blockheads book this is the unfiltered one so it has all the recipes a lot of these are going to be like honeycomb honeycomb or or uh honey bottles uh yeah you can see there's a bunch of them and all those count towards the, the food as well each one are different are separate um so yeah we want to we're gonna have to get into bees <laughs> uh so i might have to start that sooner than later uh but for now i think we're we're doing good i think there's a decent amount of stuff here that we can do she what did i place that oh no, i don't can i ah i don't know how to bring it back all right well that's staying there for now i will grab it later <laughs> um so yeah we, we did this we completed this over the weekend um and if we go back home actually let me not have caps lock on you can hear a bunch of animals uh yeah i got a few animals here and kind of started breeding them um this is just for some of the basic uh foods i guess and i also put some uh, mega torches around that way we don't get too many monsters spawned around our base um, i noticed that whenever i logged in because uh, a lot of these are chunk loaded I would get a bunch of monsters like already in here um and that could be like lagging the server and stuff like that so i wanted to make sure that does not happen um i might have to make a couple more but we'll see um i also did actually let me check out let me show you the farm because it is a mess right now <laughs> uh so over here i got one of each seeds from from the market including the fruit the fruit trees and I planted one of each of these over here. And whenever I want, I can just come in, grab a bunch of fruit, and then bring it to the restaurant. And same thing with the with the vegetables. Um, I do have this guy charging right now. But if what I do is just every once in a while, I'll put him on here. He'll start to collect whatever he can. Um, and then back here. So sometimes, for some reason, a lot of these these specific plants here so like the the berry bushes the uh the rice the these grains the rice oats barley and rye for some reason with the um with the drone they don't get picked up properly so for now i'm trying out these modular routers with the activator mo uh, module uh, and then this should be right clicking i'm not sure why it's not grabbing this it should be right clicking this. I think this guy might be blocking it. Let's see. Maybe. Oh, it only grabs one thing at a time. Whatever is directly in front of it. Yeah, so again, this is a temporary solution I had here. That way I can sort of automate them a little bit. Um, 
but clearly it's not working as intended. So I think what I might have to do there is go to the the sower to replant everything. Uh, I didn't want to do this. I did create one and like it does work. I did test it. Um, the problem is I don't have the the power for it and I don't have the like the what's called the upgrades. So not upgrades, the add-ons. So I don't have like the range add-ons and stuff like that because I don't have the distillation chamber, which I guess I could make. Um, so I'll look into that as well. And I think that's going to be our, our end planting goal right there. Just because everything else I've tried just hasn't been working out as expected. But with that said, I did put a bunch of uh, drawers over here. And whatever gets picked up by the uh, module router goes into this chest over here. And then whatever doesn't fit will just stay in here. But uh, whatever can will go up into the drawer controller and put itself in the right spot over here. Um, I might have to add a few more drawers here and there. But I think overall this is looking pretty good. Um, I haven't added like the fruit trees and stuff yet. Uh, but that shouldn't, shouldn't be too bad. In here, uh, for some reason, onion. Wait, why is onion not going in? I thought I had onion. Oh, I have a different type of onion here. Okay, so it looks like there's a different type of onion, um, and that's that's fine. I can grab that and put it here for now. Um, but yeah, here, this is the other chest I, I had, the original chest. I have a bunch of sesame seed here. I don't know if I want to throw out or not. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I should grab some of this, though, and bring it to the, to the restaurant. Actually, actually some onion as well. I don't think that one is over there. Here you go. And I can also eat this sweet sweet potato. Alright. So yeah, so this is what I what I did here for the farm. Um again, I still gotta clean it up a little bit, but I think we have the basic uh storage system set up. Um and we just gotta figure out what we want to do exactly for the planting and, and the gathering and stuff like that. Um another thing I did is I moved all the um what's it called the nomadic craft stuff down here i made a little, little room uh and so everything here everything i had upstairs is pretty much here uh no difference there um so i haven't added anything i haven't really done anything else just move them over however one thing i noticed if you look at the external here's from immersive engineering and we look at the information um, it says may be used to provide heat for pneumatic craft machines. So I haven't tested this, but if I'm correct, this means that you can use these heaters to heat up these machines. You know how last time I showed you guys how these guys would heat up and, and it will uh, turn the crude oil into all these different um, type of liquids. So you can do that without having um i guess to waste a block for i was using magma block for example where it will turn into magma block will turn into the netherrack but there's uh, all those other liquids will turn into obsidian stuff like that so i think with the heater it just uses energy instead um so i think that is the way to actually go if you want to continue with with the matter craft um so just a little tip there for you guys check that out test it out um i'll try to test it out myself and let you guys know if it does work or not but i, I think it does pretty it sounds like it does so a little tidbit right there um now down at the spawner area i did add some blaze rods so i did go to nether i added some some blazes i think i added two blazes yeah two blazes uh so we're getting a bunch of blazes blaze rods over there which is pretty nice we can use these as fuel we can use them for crafting other things uh they're going to be super useful for us um i also added some basic fluid tanks over here and I'm converting the experience from bottled to actual liquid. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is if we look at my backpack, I had a tank upgrade along with a experience pump upgrade. And I was using this to store the experience and automatically fill my experience as I need to. Um, this seems to be the fastest way to do that because it's either that or throwing bottles on the ground, which can take some time. Uh, but let me show you guys how fast it is. So if I put this guy in here, it'll start to drain it into the 
the backpack and then automatically drain the experience to me so i can be doing other stuff i'm not there just spamming right click for with the bottles right so that's pretty cool in my opinion um and then for now i'm just gonna put you back because you're not full and uh, i did also find a enderman spawner i haven't set it up yet um but i will add, i will be adding that because i think we are planning to go to the end here soon with uh with a couple of the other guys so we should definitely do that um another thing i did is i went fishing <laughs> so i needed um i needed some better bookshelves here um and i had two options i had these sea shelves or i had the i think it was the hell shelves i think they're called these guys right here yeah and the hell shells required the potion regeneration i think i showed you guys last time that or, or i can't remember if i did or not maybe not um but i did have a couple of gas tiers and i did make some uh I, I made four actually because i also need the hell shelves specifically to make this um infused health shelves to make the library which you can see we have over here so yeah so but what i had to do first is i had to make sure i can get to uh 22.5 eterna and with the regular bookshelves you can only get up to 15 so that means i had to get either hell shelves or sea shelves to get to, to the 22.5 um and i decided to go to sea shelves because those are a little bit easier to get in my opinion um you just have to go look for puffer fish if you go looking for a warm ocean uh or lukewarm ocean you should be able to spot them there uh so it wasn't too bad at all then the prismian blocks you can just get it from a uh, ocean monument and yeah bottle water so super easy in my opinion um so yeah we got that up to the 22.5 that we needed i created the four uh infused hell blocks or hell shelves that um, we needed for the library and now we have the library um so this guy's actually pretty cool it um all the books all the enchantment books that i had here are pretty much in here now <laughs> um and what you could do is for example i'm trying to look for one like say fortune or i guess uh say efficiency so you can look at efficiency here it says the max level available is four um so i can click on this one time it'll give me efficiency efficiency one but if i click it again it'll give me two three and up to four and i can grab that and it still it says that i still have up to four available here um that is because for now the highest efficiency that i've been able to get from from the uh enchantment table has been four um however i think because i have two efficiency fours right here if i put them together like this to make it efficiency five i can go ahead place it in here just dump it in and if you look at efficiency again it says max available five so i can click this up to five times that's pretty cool <laughs> i love that uh can i do this again i can look i can even do six i'm pretty sure i can combine this put that back in there efficiency up to six you can see that there we go there we go that's cool i love it i love it and because i actually used up all the points you see how there's like extracting points or extracting sorry yeah the point cost um that is i think depending on the level it takes x amount of points and it looks like we wasted it all here but i can just put it back in and it'll pop up again um so yeah it's a pretty cool thing pretty cool little feature it's a good way to store your your books and to like upgrade your your uh your books as well um, so yeah, I like that. Um, and I probably will be getting some more of these seashelves just to change up the rest of the oak, uh, dark oak bookshelves. Um, they just, that way they just match a little bit better. Um, but yeah, and I think that's pretty much what I've done. Um, oh, oh, I forgot to show you guys this. <laughs> yeah. So I have some power stuff here. Um, I needed a bunch of quartz for the build at spawn. And what I have here is a uh builder from rf tools actually let's go show you but it's pretty much a builder from earth or rf tools i have it set up in the in the nether and it is pumping up 
into this ender chest and into this diamond chest over here. And you can see I have a bunch of other ores too because I did use it in the overworld a little bit as well. Um, and that helped me get a bunch of iron that I needed. And uh, yeah, it's been pretty useful. Um, but to make that, I had to make um, a better power source. And for, for now, what I just did was I got uh, an energy cell from power and the furnitator or furnator from uh, from power as well. And I'm, ju I'm just using that. So let me go show you what that looks in the nether. It's literally just plopped in one spot. And whenever whenever I need something else or a little bit more ne uh, nether cores or something, I go in there and just give it some core or something. Alright. Oh, I, I gotta I gotta make this look pretty. <laughs> uh oh, there's a guy in here. Anything good? Nope, nothing good. Okay. So just down here I have this guy right here. This furnator is I did upgrade it to the hardened version, that way it could power up a little bit better. It's still not as fast as it could be. However, what I've been doing is adding some time to it like this. And you'll see that it's grabbing everything that it can and I just have it continuously running until it goes through I guess 56 chunks for now and that's also been getting me some um, ancient debris which is pretty cool so that that's gonna be useful later on for sure all right so one other thing I kind of want to show you guys here is this auto fisher that I found that is pretty cool because it's super easy to make and it doesn't require power or anything you just make it, plop it down, and over time it collects stuff for you. Um, I did do this trying to get the puffer stuff, um, but I think eventually I just went to go kill them because it was a little bit easier, or a little bit faster, I should say. Um, oh, okay, I gathered all of that. Oops. <laughs> um, can I get up here, please? There you go. Let me grab a backpack here, not you, this one. Yeah, let me put all these these fish in here. But yeah, that's a lot of fish. And <laughs> I made multiple because I was trying to get the puffer fish. But yeah, I, I didn't end up even using that. Because it, it still took a little bit of time. Because um, I wanted to do it like right away. <laughs> but look at all the look at all that fish. That's that's amazing. That's amazing. I did not expect it to be this good, to be honest. Um, and yeah, we get some ran random books here and there. Nothing too crazy, but but again, it is it is something you can look into if you want to um, actually fish them uh, or uh, sorry, automate the fishing. And you can also so um, I've, I've been looking into this this mod a little bit, and there's some these what's it called like steamboats I think they're called little here we go. Yeah, the tongue, steam tug and then the energy tug. Not sure exactly what, what the difference is. I guess one uses energy, one uses steam. Um, but these guys, you can have them pull these barges. And you can have them like set up like a little route for them to go around. And I think if it's moving, it does gather them faster. Um, so that is a thing you could do. But looks like it, even, even with it just staying still, it was pretty good. All right, so I grabbed everything from these auto fishing barges. I'm going to take them out just because I don't really need more fish at the moment. Um, and I am going to unclaim this chunk as well. And I'm actually going to go put these guys in the in the restaurant. So let's go ahead and do that. And I guess we will end the little stream summary over here as well. Um, oh, oh what, one other thing. I forgot. <laughs> so there are these extra boats they can do. They can make here. And this is a galley. I, I think it's called... Um, ships or little ships let's see yeah these guys right here small ships mod yeah it's actually pretty cool look at look at it and it oops <laughs> no i fell i keep pressing the wrong button and i think you can lower yeah all oh, right yeah so j is to lower the sails and you actually go a little bit faster i'm pretty sure and that's cool i, I just like the 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 way it looks <laughs> wanted to show you guys there a little little something real quick and then K to bring them up, J to bring them down. I get it, it conflicts with some of my other stuff, but yeah, that, that's pretty cool. I like that. 
All right, guys. So that's going to be for this week's stream summaries. Uh, so again, big thanks for, for Toti for joining in and help me, helping me with the build here. Um, a lot of the decorations was because of him. So yeah, appreciate that, man. Thank you again. And for anyone that's on the server, uh, feel free to use the kitchen here um, and use up any food that you like, that you, that you need. Uh, I'm going to be stocking this up often um, and any new recipes I'll be, or new items, I guess, ingredients. I'll be adding in here as as I come by them. Um, but yeah, if you do want to join us, actually, um, I will put the Discord link in the description. Uh, you can click on there, join the Discord, and there is a whitelist request page that you got to fill out. And you will pretty much get whitelisted uh, pretty fast. And you can hop on and be set and ready to uh, play with us here uh, on the server. Um, so yeah. That is going to be it for today. Uh, I am going to be streaming later tonight. So today is Friday. My It looks like my stream schedule for now is going to be Friday, Saturdays, and either Tuesdays or Wednesdays. I'm still kind of, depending on what day it is, I will I will change that up. <laughs> uh, but I, I will try to be on at least three days a week uh, for sure, Friday and Saturdays. Um, and if you do want to catch me live again, I will be on tonight. The link is twitch.tv slash Gaming. And yeah, go ahead, head there, go check me out, follow me if you want. Um, and I will see you guys next time.